Right now, I'm in Bali. Bali might be the easiest place in Asia to move to, but it doesn't have to be Bali. This video applies to Thailand, Vietnam, Argentina, Mexico, Cambodia, Laos, Malaysia, India, and a ton of other amazing places all around the world. Everyone drives motorbikes here, not just in Bali, but in every single one of these countries. And as Casey Neistat once eloquently put it, there are no words that can describe the lawlessness that is driving in Hanoi. Motorbikes are dangerous, so be careful. But stagnation is also dangerous, so don't be too careful. First off, most people speak English. Secondly, fast Wi-Fi is easy to find. Okay, now that's out of the way, let's talk food. You're going to get diarrhea, but it's a small price to pay. Literally. It's literally a small price to pay, because the food here is super cheap. But if a restaurant looks Western, chances are it'll be expensive and the food won't be that good because you'll be eating a burger prepared by somebody who doesn't really like to eat burgers. You want to eat at the places the locals eat, especially in Vietnam. They don't really look like restaurants and they'd probably fail a Western health inspection, but their food is damn good. If you find yourself eating at a place that Anthony Bourdain once ate at, you're doing it wrong. That place has been compromised. You need to look for the places that Anthony Bourdain would have looked for before he made those episodes. You want the secret spots, off the beaten path, the holes in the wall with no white people in sight, but with tons of happy locals staring at you and wondering why you aren't at the local Hard Rock Cafe. I know you're all thinking, who is this crazy gringo and what is he talking about? There won't be menus. If there's a menu, you probably f***ed up. And if there's a menu in English, you definitely f***ed up. And if you order a hamburger, I swear to you, it will not be good. If you want to cook your own food, even better. Rice is cheap, and local veggies are cheap. I mean really cheap. Even when the locals charge you double the price because you're not from around here, they're still cheap. So is local meat. I bought this entire chicken for $3. They killed it and cleaned it right there in front of me while I waited. It's weird, I know, but it's real. And if you like finding your own food from the ocean, like me, you're in the right place. You can't find a better combination of cool fish and cheap prices anywhere else in the entire world. Which brings me to my next point. Southeast Asia has amazing oceans with unbelievable wildlife. I highly recommend taking a freediving course or a scuba course if you're a pussy so that you can explore these amazing places under the water as well. Just kidding, by the way, I love scuba. Anyways, I see dolphins, sharks, turtles, and all kinds of awesome fish on a regular basis. In fact, I see these animals much more often than I see Trump or Biden in the news. What a life. Okay, but how can you live like this? Well, it's easy. All you have to do is have a rich dad set up a trust fund for you worth millions of dollars. Just kidding. There are tons of ways that you can live like this, and it's getting easier to do every single day. Let's start this next part with a quote from Tim Ferriss. Fun things happen when you earn in dollars, live on pesos, and compensate in rupees. With more and more people working online than ever before, places like this are going to blow up, more than they already have. There's no longer a need to pay huge amounts of money to live in crowded cities if you can do your job from a computer. And if you can do your job online, why not do it in the least expensive and most beautiful places on Earth? And once you're there, you might realize that you can survive with a lot less money, which means that you can work a lot less as well. And then you can finally spend all of your time laying in bed and watching Netflix. Just kidding. Well, technically you can, but I don't recommend it. You can write that novel, start that business, learn that language, learn that instrument, create those beats, learn to code, learn to freedive, scuba dive, skydive, or surf. Or, in my case, learn to edit videos. You can be a waiter for two months in the US, work your ass off, save some money, and then spend the other 10 months abroad doing whatever it is you would be doing if you had a million dollars in your bank account. The only difference is you won't be flying first class. Or you can be a freedive instructor like me, or a scuba instructor, or an English teacher, or a surf instructor, or a million other things. The point of this video isn't to give specific job ideas. The point is that there are ways to live differently. This is the only time in the history of the world that large numbers of people can earn in one currency while simultaneously living off of another currency. Even just 15 years ago, this wasn't really possible for most people, let alone 150 or 1500 years ago. We're super lucky.
The amount of information and resources that we have at our fingertips is amazing. Yeah, people can get addicted to their phones, and there's online trolls and fake news, but the news has always been fake, and now people can learn literally anything for free online. History books talk about the Renaissance as this amazing time for art and science, but looking back in a few centuries, that will pale in comparison to what we have today. It's not all perfect, though. You won't see your friends and family back home as much, and a lot of them won't understand what you're doing. Another big downside is career growth, or lack thereof. Being a freedive instructor is super cool, but there's not much room for advancing in your career, as opposed to something like real estate or finance. Climbing the corporate ladder is a real thing, but not in Southeast Asia. On the other hand, you might build a successful business while you're abroad with all that newfound free time. Or you might get in a motorbike accident and break both your legs. Just so you know, these ideas could all be bullshit, and I could be making this movie just to try to justify my weird life choices. I guess I'll find out in 20 years.